I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 206. One day until the road trip. It's interesting to me that Wall Street fell in love with Apple without really taking the time to get to know it more. Apple share prices, I own none by the way, have been climbing, 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 and it's time investors learn to ignore Apple-related rumors. The Apple share price dropped 7% Tuesday after the Street.com posted a piece about Apple reducing production of the iPhone from 9 million units to 4.5 million units. The problem is that Apple rumors rarely share much in common with actual facts. This is, I believe, the third time this year Apple share share prices have fallen based on rumors, so I'm thinking there's an investment strategy in there somewhere. Speaking of Apple, Apple's hosting a press event on Tuesday. We'll be on the road with our express card plugged in and we'll pull over to shoot a brief as soon as we know what's new. If you're a Windows user looking for a free photo editing application, check out Photo Filter. It has a wide range of filters and a simple interface. Oh, and it's free. <laughs> a link to download is in the show notes at geekbrief.tv. Forget about that Panasonic camera I told you about a couple briefs back. You remember the one that shoots to SD cards? Canon's newest HD handheld camera has a 40 gigabyte hard drive. Well, actually like anything else, your needs may vary. The iViz HG10 has a lower resolution than the Panasonic. It's 1440 by 1080. The Panasonic is 1920 by 1080 and has that cool buffer setting so you don't miss your baby's first step. A nice guy hit the PayPal donate button on one of my sites the other day. I said, thanks. He said, no problem. He saves tons on consulting fees because of Geek Brief TV. And I said, ah. And then he asked if I knew of a solution for wirelessly transmitting a screen capture from a computer to an LCD or plasma screen hanging on a wall. The Tech AV IT WID 110 <sighs> uses Wi-Fi to stream video from multiple computers at 1280 by 768. It works with XP Vista CE and OS 10. The range is 250 feet outdoors and 150 feet indoors. The old Nintendo controller is sentimental to a lot of us. With that in mind, lots of people make lots of products to pay homage to it. Most of those products, well, they don't look that great to me. I'm liking the Nintendo wallet though. It's distressed leather and it looks like an NES controller. It comes in a tin container that looks like an NES game cartridge. You may remember the charging station I made several briefs back. I'm upgrading mine because I need more cubby holes and Neil wanted it to look nicer. If you're not an international gadget spy who needs to charge 16 devices at a time, the Bedford Smart Recharge Station from Pottery Barn is certainly worth a look. It's attractive, it has four skeleton keyholes for cables, and it comes in white, black, or mahogany. I'm done, road trip starts tomorrow. Those of you who are interested in the behind the scenes part of the trip can subscribe to my junk trunk feed at callyjunk.podshow.com. It's the place we upload sentimental and test video. There's a link in the show notes. Derek saved over $200 using one of our promo codes GB1, GB2, or GB3 when he registered shinyhappyusers.org and a long-term virtual dedicated server plan from godaddy.com. It seems like they're doing some pretty cool stuff over there. I'm Callie Lewis. Thanks for watching. Bye! We'll be on the road with our express card plugged in and we'll pull over to shoot a brief that ah, it comes in black, white, back. It comes in back. Baby got back. Sorry. You caught that, didn't you?